Hello everyone, and welcome back to Good Morning America. Today, we're taking a closer look at Hurricane Christy, a powerful storm that recently formed in the Pacific Ocean. This storm has quickly gained attention due to its rapid intensification and the potential threat it poses to coastal communities. Hurricanes are categorized on a scale of one to five, with five being the strongest. This scale, known as the Saffir-Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, helps us understand the potential damage and impact of these storms. A Category 5 hurricane is a force of nature capable of unimaginable destruction. These storms can cause catastrophic damage to homes, infrastructure, and the environment. These storms pack winds of at least 157 miles per hour, which can lead to widespread devastation enough to rip buildings from their foundations and toss cars around like toys. The sheer power of these winds can turn everyday objects into deadly projectiles. Hurricane Christy, the latest storm to earn this fearsome designation, has been churning its way across the Pacific, growing stronger with each passing day, leaving many to wonder about its potential impact. Communities in its projected path are on high alert, taking necessary precautions to safeguard lives and property. We'll delve into the science behind these storms, explore Christie's journey, and examine how meteorologists track and predict the paths of such powerful hurricanes, and discuss the importance of preparedness. Being prepared can make a significant difference in minimizing the impact of these natural disasters. Stay tuned as we bring you the latest updates and expert insights on Hurricane Christie. Every hurricane starts as a mere disturbance in the atmosphere, a cluster of thunderstorms forming over warm ocean waters. These storms thrive on heat and moisture, drawing energy from the ocean's surface. But what are the specific ingredients needed for a tropical storm to form? Think of it like baking a cake. You need the right ingredients in the right amounts. For a tropical storm, you need warm ocean water, at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit, to act as fuel. You need low wind shear, meaning winds aren't changing drastically with height, so the storm can grow vertically. And you need moisture in the air to form those towering thunderstorms. As these thunderstorms cluster together and begin to rotate, fueled by the warm ocean water, they gain more and more strength. If the conditions are just right, this swirling mass of storms can intensify into a hurricane. But how do hurricanes gain this incredible strength? Imagine a spinning top. As it spins faster, it gains more momentum and stability. Hurricanes work similarly. Warm, moist air rises from the ocean's surface and condenses, releasing heat and powering the storm. This creates an area of low pressure at the center, drawing in more air and fueling the cycle. As the air rises and cools, it forms clouds and releases even more heat, further intensifying the storm. Most hurricanes never reach the monstrous intensity of a Category 5. So, what sets these storms apart? Several factors can contribute to a hurricane's rapid intensification. One key factor is the presence of very warm ocean water, which acts as high-octane fuel for the storm. Another factor is low wind shear, which allows the hurricane to maintain its structure and continue drawing in energy. Additionally, a moist atmosphere provides ample moisture for the storm to work with. When all these factors align perfectly, a hurricane can undergo rapid intensification, sometimes strengthening by multiple categories in a short period. Section 5. The Anatomy of a Category 5. Understanding Christie's Power. What makes a hurricane reach Category 5? It's a combination of several factors, including sea surface temperatures, atmospheric conditions, and wind patterns. A Category 5 hurricane is defined by its wind speed, which must be 157 miles per hour or greater. These intense winds are driven by the energy released from warm ocean waters. These winds are capable of causing catastrophic damage, tearing roofs off buildings, snapping trees like twigs, and turning debris into deadly projectiles. The sheer force can devastate entire neighborhoods in a matter of minutes. 
but the danger doesn't end there. The atmospheric pressure drops significantly, creating a vacuum effect that intensifies the storm. Category 5 hurricanes also bring torrential rainfall, often measured in feet rather than inches. This relentless downpour can last for hours or even days, overwhelming drainage systems. This can lead to widespread flooding, inundating homes, businesses, and entire communities. The water can rise rapidly, trapping people and making rescue operations extremely challenging. And then there's the storm surge, a wall of water pushed ashore by the hurricane's powerful winds. This surge can reach heights of 20 feet or more, depending on the storm's intensity and the coastal geography. Storm surge can be the deadliest aspect of a hurricane, capable of inundating coastal areas far from where the hurricane makes landfall. It can sweep away buildings, erode coastlines, and cause significant loss of life. Section 6. Bracing for Impact. Christie's Potential Threat to Land. As Hurricane Christie continues its westward track, coastal communities in its path are bracing for impact. While it's still too early to say with certainty where Christie will make landfall, the potential for destruction is undeniable. How can coastal communities prepare for a hurricane? Preparation is key when it comes to facing a hurricane, especially one as powerful as Christie. Residents in potentially affected areas should stay informed about the storm's track and intensity, have an evacuation plan in place, and gather essential supplies like food, water, and medication. Securing loose objects, boarding up windows, and trimming trees can also help minimize damage. Section 7. Staying Safe. How to Prepare for a Hurricane. Hurricanes can be unpredictable and dangerous, so it's essential to be well prepared in advance. Now, more than ever, it's crucial to be prepared. Start by gathering all necessary supplies and making sure your family knows the emergency plan. Remember, safety should always be your top priority. Ensure that everyone in your household understands their role and responsibilities during a hurricane. Listen to the advice of local authorities and if an evacuation order is issued, don't hesitate to leave. Evacuating early can save lives and reduce the risk of getting caught in dangerous conditions. Here are some additional safety tips. Make sure your emergency kit is up to date and includes all necessary items for at least three days. Stay informed. Monitor weather reports and official updates from reliable sources. Use multiple sources to ensure you have the most accurate information. Have a plan. Develop a family emergency plan, including evacuation routes and communication strategies. Practice this plan regularly so everyone knows what to do. Prepare your home. Secure loose objects, board up windows, and trim trees. This can help minimize damage to your property and keep your family safe. Gather supplies. Stock up on food, water, medication, flashlights, batteries, and a first aid kit. Don't forget to include items for your pets and any special needs family members. Stay indoors. During the storm, stay indoors and away from windows. Keep yourself entertained with activities like board games to help pass the time and reduce stress. Section 8 in the aftermath. Lessons learned and the importance of resilience. Even after a hurricane passes, the danger is far from over. Flooded roads, downed power lines, and damaged buildings can pose significant risks. It's essential to remain cautious, follow the guidance of local authorities, and avoid unnecessary travel. In the wake of a storm like Christie, it's a time for communities to come together offer support, and rebuild. Every hurricane, no matter how devastating, offers valuable lessons about preparedness, resilience, and the power of human compassion. Section 9. What's Next? Stay informed and take action. As we continue to track Hurricane Christie's progress, 
We encourage everyone to stay informed, stay safe, and stay connected. We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts, experiences, and questions in the comments below. Let's use this opportunity to learn from each other and strengthen our collective resilience in the face of natural